fix any other video for you today. Okay, so today guys, I've got a new series for you, it's how to increase series, and I'll be doing uh, videos every week on how to increase a certain part of your laptop in speed, in performance, in generally, and just generally getting your computer better. So subscribe for next week's episode, and yeah, let's get on with this. So guys, just before we start, once again, um, can you... Please, if you if you want something increasing and you don't and you don't know how to, then stick it in the comment section below. Give me suggestions on what I should increase. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to have five five points. And if you want more, guys, if these aren't enough, then just leave a comment in the se comment section below. And let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to go and do, guys, is your power plan. So come to this main screen. You want to click on this little icon down here. Sometimes it's in here, but usually it's just down the bottom here. And you want to go more power options. And if you're if you if you're on this page and it's not on high performance, then that's what you want to get it on. That that will increase your performance for every part of your laptop, especially your CPU. Then go change plan settings. Click and change change advanced power settings, and then we want to go here, and we want to go to processor power management, and then here are the two important ones: minimum processor state. So Wait, this is the minimum your uh, and this is the minimum amount of the CPU your it can be using at one, any one time. So that you obviously want that one on 100 and plugged in maximum process state. So you're not throttling your CPU when it on 100 as well. So go check that out. Change it. Click apply and then we'll um, then change them to really get the most out of your CPU. Okay guys, so the next thing you want to go and do is go and update your drivers. I say this in every single video I make, which is how to increase your CPU. Update your drivers. So you want to go to Device Manager. So I'm just going to type in Device here, and it will come up with Device Manager. You want to click on this one here. Device Manager. And you will come up with this. And you want to go down here to where it says Processors. Right click on them, and click on Update Driver Software. Search automatically for update driver software. Take a little while to do. And there you go. Um, it says the best driver software for your device is already installed. But if you want a more accurate way, because Intel takes a little while to update these, you can go ahead and click on properties. Go driver. And then you want to find the driver version. Then go ahead to the to your CPU's website. Um, so obviously Intel's got a big arc for the. It's called the arc, and it shows, gives you all these Intel-related stuff, um, specs and stuff. So you want to go there, and you want to find out. It, well, depending on your CPU, obviously you want to go and find out what which driver version is the latest one, and then compare it to this one. And if it's not the latest one, go ahead and download the latest one and run it. So that's a really important tip, guys. Okay, guys. So step number three is boot options. So you want to go to Start, run, and then type in MS config and click OK. And then you want to go to boot, advanced options, and then here you've got your number of processors. And if it's on one or two, you want to set it to as many as possible. So for the, I've got four cores, so for some people this will be eight cores. And yeah, don't change this because if you change, I change that to six six thousand one hundred forty four. That means when you boot it up, your it's going to take a lot more, a load of RAM from your when you're actually just working normally um, to boot up. So you just want to leave it up with processors. Maximum memory will make, give you a really short boot up time. But honestly, there's no need. It doesn't help that much. And then click OK and OK. And then just for this, I'm gonna. You're obviously gonna want to go and then click. Um, you obviously want to go and restart your computer. Okay, guys. So the next thing I want to show you is throttle stop. So this is a program by Tech Inferno, um, which is a really, really useful tech power up. Sorry. And you want to go and download throttle stop 6.0 and then I've got I've got four and they haven't really changed it much they've just got more compatibility for more CPUs so you want to go down ahead and download 6.0 and basically all this does is it kind of overclocks it and just keeps your CPU CPU power well see so yes the clock speed of your CPU up up and keeps it up rather than leaving it to your CPU to decide it keeps it up and it's, it's a really good program it increases your gaming performance just increases everything really and it's a really really useful program 
Okay, so the final thing I think is a really useful thing is to upgrade to the latest Windows. So, as you can see here, we've got Microsoft Windows 7 Home Improvement. I find I have Windows 8, but honestly, if you're for a normal computer, I honestly think that Windows 7 will give you the fastest speeds that are around today. Really, really good operating software for anybody. It's really simple to use, really, really useful. And that will really boost your, if you've got Windows Vista which is slow and laggy, XP isn't much better, Windows 7 is really the best out of the fastest. So I think that is a very useful thing to have. Okay, so the next thing I think is the best step to do is upgrade your CPU. If your laptop or PC has a has an abil the ability to to open up and upgrade your CPU. It's a definite it's a definite go go because it's a way of increasing your power by a lot. I also, I recommend it more for piece for desktop PCs because they can have better fans. But I mean if you if you've got like a 1.5 gigahertz um, CPU in your laptop, you're gonna want to upgrade it to a 2.3 you can upgrade it to 2.5 2.3 gigahertz in your laptop without being too much issues so guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or uh, as i said suggestions please stick them in the comments section below and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching